Happy New Year 2016. This is Vaidya Priyanka from Om Cuisine. What have you told yourself this year? Better nutrition? Better tastes? Perhaps you're going to try something new? Perhaps you're going meatless on Mondays? Perhaps you are going to be on your weekend journey and maybe you're losing weight, getting shinier hair, better eyesight, perhaps even more intelligence, all because of your food? Well, after all, you are what you eat, and we are here to support you every step of that journey. Every single week, new recipes, right here on Home Cuisine. Hi, and welcome back to Home Cuisine. I'm going to be making today a Buddhist antioxidant soup that's absolutely tasty. So I'm going to be putting in some coconut oil and as that melts I'm going to be putting in my cumin seeds. This is going to be a super super beautiful recipe. I'm going to be throwing in my alliums, warming that up, throwing in the cabbage, throwing in the garlic. The order of the ingredients, super, super, super important. I'm going to be putting in some water. And into that water now, we are going to be adding some really important ingredients. We are going to be putting in some bok choy. Tasty, tasty. Yum, yum. And I'm going to be putting in some vegetables. I have some carrots, I have some asparagus, and just for a little bit of color, some broccoli. Not putting in too much of water right now. I want all the flavors to infuse, first of all, before I can create more flavor intensity. I'm going to be putting in a pinch of chopped dill leaves. Very, very good for flatulence. It's also to make sure that People who have like bad mouth odor, this takes care of it, it's really good. And then I'm going to be putting in some stems of some royal trumpet mushrooms. I also have some bunapi in there. You can choose any of the mushrooms of fantastic medicinal value. I'm a big fan of like maitake mushrooms. I love shiitake mushrooms, I love royal trumpet, I like lion's mane, all of those lovely things. Each of these fantastic properties. So, very little water though, remember that's the trick to making a really, really good antioxidant soup. It's doing nothing but just steaming through and getting to know its neighbors really well. That's it. Then I'm going to be adding in some gluten-free tamari sauce. I try when I make these recipes to not add much salt. When we really need some salt to taste, yes, you should add it, but if not, it's not required. Just make sure it's just steaming in that lovely, delectable, Asian broth-like flavor. I'm going to be putting in some ginger, a big pinch of shredded ginger, just to increase the warmth quotient of this beautiful dish. I love the flavors coming through. Very, very tasty, very good when you're on a Zen retreat or something really tasty. Going to be putting in about half a teaspoon of Moringa powder. We've used Moringa powder before. It's really, really famous now as an antioxidant, super nutrient, lovely food, lovely available in powdered form. Very nice. So as these flavors are getting to know each other, I'm going to be taking some goji berries, dropping the goji berries in there, and after that is done, in this water of the goji berries, I'm going to be putting in a pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper, and some lemon juice. I love it to settle down for some time, and in there I'm going to be adding some Moringa powder, a little bit of ginger, and take some seaweed, just allow it to soak in there. I'm going to tell you what that is for in just a few minutes. It's almost like a little dressing for the soup. 
which you might not be very familiar with. So I'm going to be putting in two handfuls of chopped up seaweed into that and I love this to come to a boil. So not too much water, that's the trick, not too much water. We are looking for the nutrients and the antioxidant, not allowing it to sparingly swim around. We want it to swim, full gusto, lots of color. So as that is going on, I'm going to prepare some things for our fantastic boiling sequins and to do our taste test. See you soon. Okay. Welcome back and it's time to plate up. So what I have here is a lovely royal emulsion of flavor. When water is boiling with your ingredients, if you add lemon juice, the broth is going to turn bitter. So you don't want that. Now, since the fire has been turned off, the cooking is still going through, you add your emulsion right on top and give it a quick little stir. I'm going to be plating it. And before I plate it, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some cilantro in the base of the bowl. This is our lovely own bowl and it's a perfect serving for one person. I'm going to be putting in some lovely nutrients going all the way atop. Plenty. Plenty. Just lovely and plentiful. And then I'm going to take in the liquid and put it right through. But not too much liquid. So it is a soup, but not just too much of it. And as you've noticed, it didn't take a long time to cook. So a lot of the vegetable bits are a little al dente, which is exactly how we want it. I'm going to be garnishing it with a little bit of dill leaves. Gives that freshness. A little bit of Asian microgreens. And some lovely seaweed on the side. There you have it, a lovely Buddhist antioxidant soup. Going to do a taste test. Perfect. Fresh, has that tad bit of sourness from the lemon juice we added quite at the end. And let's get some veggies in there. Let's try up some mushrooms. Mm. Fresh, that mushroom and the cabbage done to perfection. Try some goji berries. Fantastic. This is definitely what the Zen master ordered. It's our pleasure to bring this to you. So I hope you're going to meet all of your meditation goals this year. And while you do so, make sure you eat wisely. Until we meet again in another episode of Own Cuisine, this is Vaidya Priyanka.